Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet these really delicate and soft baby socks. So these socks can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes, please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And when you subscribe, please make sure that you click the little bell button next to the subscribe button so that you receive a notification when I upload a new tutorial. So to begin your baby socks, you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once. And you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross. And you may need to pull it up a little bit, but go underneath this first loop and then using your crochet hook, pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through. And you can then take your finger out and there we have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So to begin round one, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. This just locks our magic circle into place. So now for round one, we are going to do eight double crochets into the magic circle. So eight double crochets. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go down into the magic circle, then yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet. And now we're going to do that again. And then for a third time. And keep going until you have eight. So I have finished working those eight double crochets into the magic circle. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now to finish off round one, we need to close up the magic circle and join. So to close up the magic circle, you want to take this end or this tail here and simply pull this nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle. And then to join, we are going to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet and if you're not sure which stitch to go into then you can count back eight stitches. So you can count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and go into this stitch and work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have finished round one and now we can move on to round two. So to begin round two you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now for round two we are going to do two double crochets into every single stitch. So it's a nice easy round so you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and we're going to do two double crochets into this one. So there's one and then two and then we're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. Like that and keep working that all the way around, two into each stitch. So 
I have finished working that all the way around for round two and at the end of that round you should have 16 stitches and now to finish off this round you want to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked and now we can move on to round three so to begin this round chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch so now in round three, we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch, but then just one double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and work two double crochets both into this one. And now into the next stitch, work just one double crochet. like that and now we're going to repeat that again do two double crochets into this next stitch and then one into the next and continue to repeat this all the way around for round three two one two one two one So I have finished working that for round three and at the end of that round you should have 24 stitches and then you want to finish off that round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked and I have already done that so now we can move on to round four. So to begin round four you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now for round four we are going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So we're going to work two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. So you want to work two double crochets down into this first stitch here. And then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two and three and now we're going to do that again do two double crochets into the next stitch and then one into each of the next three and just keep repeating that all the way around two one 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 So there I have come to the end of round four and at the end of that round you should have 30 stitches and now we're going to finish off this round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked and now we can move on to round five. So to begin round five you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we are going to start off by doing two double crochets or one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet and then do one into the next stitch. And now we are going to chain one and skip the next stitch. And now we're going to do five double crochets or one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So yarn over and go into the next stitch and do one and then do one into the next and keep going until you have five. So like that so there we have chain one skip the next stitch and then five double crochets and we're going to repeat that three more times so we're going to repeat chain one skip the next stitch and then five double crochets 
three more times and then we will have four sets of those stitches in total. So let's do our first repeat. So chain one and skip the next stitch and now do five double crochets. like that. So there we have our first repeat and now you need to do that two more times. So you should have four sets in total with the first one that we worked. Chain one, skip the next stitch and five double crochets. So like that. So there I have finished working those repeats and now to finish off round five we are going to chain one and skip the next stitch and then you should find that you have three stitches left and you want to finish off by doing three double crochets or one double crochet into each of those last three stitches. And now you want to finish off this round by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And there we have finished round five and we have started to add in our little lace pattern. And now we can move on to round six. So to begin this round, chain one and turn. And as usual, this doesn't count as a stitch. So we are going to begin by working two double crochets. So do one into each of the first two stitches. And now you want to chain one and skip the next stitch and now do one double crochet down into the chain one space. So we have our little chain one space here and we're going to yarn over, go down into that space and do one double crochet and then chain one and skip the next stitch. And now you want to do three double crochets. So yarn over, remember to skip this stitch, go into the next one and do one double crochet, then do one into the next and one into the third one along. So there we have done chain one, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the chain one space, then chain one, skip the next stitch and then three double crochets and we're going to repeat that set of stitches three more times. So we're going to do three repeats. So we're going to do our first repeat, chain one, skip the next stitch, a double crochet into the chain one space and then chain one and skip the next stitch and then three double crochets. So there we have our first repeat. So now do that two more times. Chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, three double crochets. So there we have done those repeats. So I did three repeats in total and we have four sets of those stitches in total. And now to finish off this round, you want to chain one, skip the next stitch, 
do one double crochet down into this last chain one space at the end and then chain one and skip the next stitch and then finish off with one double crochet into this last stitch at the end. And now to finish off round six, work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And there we have finished round six and we're ready to move on to round seven. So round seven is a nice easy round of double crochet. So to begin this round, chain one and turn and we are going to do one double crochet into every single stitch. So it's really easy. And whenever you come to a chain one space, you just want to do one double crochet down into that space. So you want to yarn over and go down into the first stitch here and do one double crochet. And then we have reached a chain one space. So we're just going to do one double crochet down into this space. And now do one double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet down into the next chain one space. And then just keep repeating this all the way around. So you're doing one double crochet into every stitch. And then whenever you come to a chain one space, treat it as a stitch and do one double crochet down into the space. So I have finished working that all the way around for round seven and at the end of that round you should have 30 double crochets and it's really important that you have that number so I would recommend that you quickly go back and double check that you do have 30 and if you do you want to finish off this round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And now we can move on to round eight. So to begin round eight, chain one and turn and as usual, this doesn't count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by doing six double crochets or one double crochet into each of the first six stitches. So do one into this first stitch here, then one into the next, and a third into the next, and keep going until you have six. And now you want to chain one and skip the next stitch. And now we are going to do five double crochets. So yarn over, remember to skip this stitch and then do five double crochets. like that. So there we have chain one, skip the next stitch and then five double crochets and we're going to repeat that set of stitches three more times. So chain one, skip the next stitch and then five double crochets three more times. I've finished working those repeats and that has taken me to the end of round eight. So I finished off with five double crochets and now we're going to finish off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round. And now we can move on to round nine. So chain one and turn and this doesn't count as a stitch and we are going to do four double crochets. So go down into this first stitch and do one and then two, three, and four. And now you want to chain one, skip the next stitch, do one double crochet into the chain one space, and then chain one and skip the next stitch. And now we're going to work three double crochets. So yarn over, Go into the next stitch and do three. And now we're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, do a double crochet down into the chain one space and chain one and skip the next stitch. 
So there we have just done three double crochets, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one. And we're going to repeat that two more times. So three double crochets and then our little lace section there two more times. So like that. And now we're going to finish off this round with five double crochets. So yarn over, remember to skip this stitch, do one double crochet into the next stitch and keep going until you have five and that should take you right to the end. So there we have finished working that for round nine. So this is what you should have at the end of that round. So we have our little lace kind of triangles and they should be in between the ones from the previous part here. And now to finish off round nine, you want to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And at the end of this round, we're actually going to fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a nice long tail to weave in or work over later. So I'm going to fasten off, so cut my yarn and I have left a nice long tail, which I can weave in later. And now we can move on to round 10. So to begin round 10, you want to turn your work over. So start off by turning your work and we are going to count nine stitches from where we fastened off here. So nine stitches to the right of where we fastened off. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I'll show you that again. We have here where we fastened off and then you want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches to the right. And you should find that that is in the middle of a set of three double crochets from last round here. And we're going to insert our hook into that stitch. So nine stitches from where we fastened off and it should be the middle of a set of three. And we're going to attach our yarn into this stitch. So take your yarn, the exact same yarn you were using, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through, and then chain one, like that. And now we are going to do 19 double crochets, or one double crochet into each of the next 19 stitches. So we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here that we just attached our yarn into, and do one double crochet, then do one into the next stitch, and then one into the next stitch, which is a chain one space. So we're going to do one down into the chain one space, just as we did before. Then one into the next stitch. And then one down into the next chain one space. So whenever you come to a chain one space, just treat it as a stitch and do one double crochet into the space. Then do one into the next stitch and just keep working that until you have 19 double crochets. So I'm just coming to the end of round 10, so I have worked those 19 double crochets and you should find that the last one that you work in is also in the middle of a set of three double crochets here. And if it does, so if you have 19 double crochets and the last one is in, this, in the middle of a set of three double crochets there, then we have finished round 10 and we can move on to round 11. So for the next four rounds, so for rounds 11, 12, 13 and 14, we are just going to do one double crochet into each stitch. So for each of those four rounds, you want to chain one and turn and then do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So you'll do that all the way along for rounds 11, 12, 13 and 14. And in each of those four rounds, you should have 19 double crochets. So we're going to begin the first round, 
So chain one and turn, and this chain one never counts as a stitch. And we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here, as our chain one did not count as a stitch, and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next, and just keep doing this all the way along, and you should have 19. And when you get to the end of this round, round 11, do that three more times. So there I have come to the end of round 14, so I have done those rounds and this forms the heel of our sock. And now to finish off round 14, you want to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round. So we have come to the end of round 14 here and now you want to go over to the very first double crochet of the round that you worked there and work a slip stitch into this stitch. So insert your hook into that stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and that will join the top of our sock here so we have an opening here which we will come up to form the top part of the sock and then this hole here we will sew up at the very end. And now we can move on to round 15. So to begin round 15 you want to chain one and turn. So chain one and turn and now we are going to do nine double crochets along this first section here. So we are going to work nine double crochets into the side of these stitches along this first section. So you want to yarn over and go down into the side of the first stitch here and do one and then do one double crochet into the side of the next stitch and keep working this all the way along until you reach the end here and that should be nine and it's really important that you have that number so if you find you work all the way along and you have eight at the end you will need to go back and add in an additional stitch and in the same way if you go along and then you find you have ten then you'll need to go back and just remove one of those stitches so that you have nine so I have done two and I'm going to do one into the side of the next stitch and if you work them evenly, so work double crochets evenly along here, it should work out at around about nine anyway, but it's really important that you do have that number. So there I have finished working double crochets evenly along that flat section and I have nine. So when I say flat section I mean this section of plain double crochets here where we are working into the side of the stitches and I have stopped here before we start working into the front of the sock. So before we start working into the actual proper stitches here along the front I have stopped here. So you should have nine double crochets along this flat section working into the side of the stitches and like I said it's really 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 important that you have nine and now we can move on to this front section here and we are going to do one double crochet into each stitch and you should find that that is 13 so we are going to work our first double crochet into this stitch here so you might think that you have to go into this one as this is the first empty stitch but we are going to go into this one so it already looks like there is a stitch going out of it so yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet and then do one into the next and then one into the chain one space and one into the next stitch and keep doing double crochets all the way along until you reach the other side and that should be 13. So I'm just coming to the end of that section so I'm going to do one into this stitch here and then the last one that I work is going to be into this stitch here. So this stitch already looks like it has a stitch coming out of it, it's right in the corner and we're going to do our last one into that stitch there. And I'm going to go back and double check that that is 13. So I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 12 and then 13 and then this one was my first one for the flat side there. And now we are on to our other flat side. So here we have our other flat side where we will, we will be working into the side of the stitches. And we are going to do eight double crochets along this section. So we're going to work double crochets evenly along this section into the side of the stitches, but this time we need to do eight. So on the other side it was nine and on this side it's eight. So I'm going to go down into the side of the first stitch here and do one double crochet. And then I'm going to go into the next little section here and do one and just keep doing this all the way along until you have eight. So try and space them out evenly so that you can fit eight into the side of this section. So there I have seven and I'm going to work one more at the end here to give me eight. So I have two, four, six and eight. And now at the end of that round you should have 30 double crochets. So you should have worked 30 overall around the top. So we started off with nine, then 13 in the middle and then eight and that all adds up to 30. So I would go back and double check that you have 30 and if you do you want to finish off by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. So into the first double crochet at the top of the round here. And now we can move on to round 16. So we are now on to round 16. And for the next five rounds of our baby sock, so for rounds 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, we are just going to repeat rounds five through to nine. So rounds five through to nine we did down here. So they are our rounds with a pretty lace effect. And we are going to repeat those five rounds, rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine for rounds 16 through to 20. So you can go back in the tutorial and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to. Or if you have the written pattern, I have it all written down nice and neatly on there for you. So you want to repeat rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine for rounds 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So for round 16, which is a repeat of round five, you want to start off by chaining one and turning. And we are going to do two double crochets to start. And then you want to chain one and skip the next stitch and then do five double crochets and here is five and we're going to repeat that so chain one skip the next stitch and five double crochets three more times so chain one, skip the next stitch and do five double crochets and repeat that three more times and then you'll have four sets of those stitches in total. So I'm coming to the end of round 16 which is a repeat of round five. So you want to finish off by doing three double crochets and then a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. So there we have finished round 16 and this is the first round of the top part of our sock and what you should have found is that this little hole here should line up perfectly in the middle of these two. So you can see we have one, two, three and it should be in the middle one so it should line up perfectly. So there we have done round 16, so now just keep repeating rounds 5 through to 9 until you get to the end of round 20. So then once you have done that, this is what you should have. So this here is the end of round 20, and then for round 21, you just want to do one double crochet into each stitch. So chain one and turn, and do one final round of plain double crochet, and you should find that you have 30 double crochets in that round. So then once you have done that, you have come to the end of round 21. 
this is what you should have. I have 21 rounds, so I have finished round 21 at the top here, and I have worked a slip stitch into the first double crochet of that round. And if you wanted a longer sock, then you could just do more repeats of rounds five through to nine, and then when you get to the end of that last repeat of round nine, work a round of plain double crochet at the end. So if you wanted a longer sock, you could do another repeat of those rounds. And then the very last thing that you want to do is add the little frill at the top, and this is completely optional, but I will show you how to do that now. So to make the frill, once you have come to the end of your last round, so I haven't finished this sock yet, but I can still show you the frill. What you want to do, it's really easy, is just chain six, and if you wanted longer frills, then you could just chain more, skip the next stitch and work a slip stitch into the next one. And then chain six, skip the next stitch and work a slip stitch into the next. And you want to do that all the way around, finishing off with a slip stitch into the first stitch that you worked into. And then once you have done that, you will have done the frill all the way around the top. And now the final thing that we need to do is weave all of our ends nice and securely into the inside of the sock. And before you weave this one in at the end with the magic circle, make sure that you pull it nice and tight first. And then you need to sew up this little section at the back. So the little opening at the back and to do that just use a yarn or tapestry needle and then a scrap piece of yarn and just work the whip stitch down that opening. So to do the whip stitch go in through the first two stitches with your needle and pull the yarn through leaving some at the end and then come back around to the same side and then go through the next set two stitches and pull your yarn through again and just do this all the way down. So with the whip stitch, you're always coming back round to the same side in through both stitches and pull it through. And then once you have done that, you will have finished your first sock. And now we can move on and make a second sock in the exact same way so that both socks are identical and we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And when you subscribe, make sure that you click that little bell button next to the subscribe button so that you receive a notification when I upload a new tutorial and you won't miss out on any of these cute crochet projects and in the description box below this video I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern for these socks and I will also leave a link in the description box to my Instagram and Twitter accounts so I always like to post updates and pictures on there especially Instagram and I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well and thank you again for watching bye